I didn't know what to talk about. I got red box just like my brother did when I was young. But I didn't have the chandelier for them to grow in. I have a fan that moves. So instead I have cups that the building lives in now. And I said that this, this tiny, so if like they get big old and they, cause like one actually, a black one actually came in, right? And then a red one came in. So we actually have black red backs that get the, some, sometimes they get the red stripe on them and sometimes they don't. It's usually depending on which gender they are of the black one. And then the red ones, I don't know what they are, but there's red ones, but they're supposed to be killed straight up because they're so bad. Like, apparently. I don't know. I had a red jumping spider when I was, like, little. And then I had a black jumping spider. And they were jumping spiders. And, like, I was playing with them. And I got in a lot of trouble because they were spiders. And the same thing happened to my son. He got in trouble by all the other kids. Because <clears throat> he was trying to be friends with the spider, and spiders are dangerous. Anyway, I had baby jumping spiders that were red and black. Anyway, and but at this property is actually a red, red back, and there is a black, red back that live in the garden, but they've come inside before, so they've obviously decided to come back in or something and now there's baby baby redbacks climbing around they could be they could be something else but I'm just gonna say they're redbacks because they're not jumping spiders and they look like redbacks like baby redbacks because when my brother actually grew them on his chandelier um, I actually went into his room over and over again because I didn't know where he was. So I go in his room and I lay on his bed and I'd be like, "So this is like a studio. Like he plays guitar, he collects albums and teaches himself to play music and writes music in um, script and in tab and everything." And he taught himself to do all of this. And I'm just looking out at this thing. I'm like, oh, there's cobwebs. And then like, the next time I come down, I'm like, oh, there's baby spiders. And then like the next time I come down, they're all gone. But there's a box under his bed. And I take the box out. I'm like, oh, the baby redbacks. Uh, I better put that back. And I'm like, wow. And then there's cobwebs again. And I come back and there's like, they're like hanging from the chandelier. And I'm like, this is, this is getting kind of dangerous. He keeps growing red back spiders, right? <laughs> and I'm like, I better tell mom that that he's growing red back spiders, he'll get in trouble, but he probably won't die from the red back spider. But anyway, so the way I found out that we had red back spiders here is that um, my son was here and he was in his room and a red back, uh, and a black red back spider come out from the curtain. And I'm like, oh, it's a red back, don't let it on you. Get it off you. Get it outside. We've got to take it outside. We've got to put it back in the garden. Because it, it was rather large, kind of red back. 
and then um, the red one was in the toilet, I'm pretty sure, which actually scares me because there's a basket in there and it could be in there at any time. Even though we killed it, I, I think we killed it. I think we did kill the red, the red one, yeah. Because the red ones are really bad, but like from what I've heard, like I got in so much trouble about a red jumping spider that apparently the I'd I'd expect that even though when I examined the red backs that were growing in my brother's room, they're all red to start with, like they're all little baby red red backs, all of them. And it was strange because I always thought that red backs were black because like under the house of my um, babysitter's place there was a, they were black and we watched this one grow for ages and, and it grew the red back, red back stripe on it while we were there <coughs> and we had to kill that one too. I think we put it in a tree and then we had this tree of those little flowers those little flowers that grow on the with spiders in them yeah those ones which grow down the road um and used to grow in my garden they actually keep red backs in them like if you smell them they the red back climb out of it and scare the shit out of you and that's what I know about red backs. I actually don't know what the kind of flower is actually called because I'm not very good at remembering the names of anything. <laughs> I do remember that a red back is a red back though because it's actually scary the idea that a spider can bite you and you can die straight away. Like that is like the story behind it and that's what I'm thinking is going to happen if I get bitten by a red bat even though like I don't want to put it up to like it being a myth because why I actually have a story about a red bat killing you if it doesn't kill you like it's just that when I look at the main arteries as opposed to the, the skin. I don't want to get bitten by anything. I actually hate spiders. Um, because I've watched too many scary movies about spiders. And I actually saw a jack. It looked like a jack. Like it didn't look like a huntsman. It looked like a jack come out of my um, garage. So I think like the gardening is like scary, like I, I never actually like gardening because it actually scares me that there's spiders in the garden. Because I keep meeting spiders, like this one spider had a frog captive one day and it um killed the frog, like it dragged it into its thing, like the, that was a, like a trap door, which is even scarier than anything, because it can make your skin like crawl off your body, like, like acid burning your body all over your body, <laughs> and I didn't like spiders like that, like I'm actually terrified of spiders, and like the idea is like when I was young, and I had my daughter, and I had a forest, I actually had like this big pile up of stuff that everyone had like created at the back of my house and we actually had to get a skip to take it away and we actually had a tarantula living in our forest in our backyard and it ran across the thing chasing us as a jack jumped out of a tree chasing my daughter and I had to get my daughter to run from the jack and I had, and I ran over the tarantula with a wheelbarrow, and it was squashed. Not fully, like it looked dead, 
but it could have still been alive. I just, I felt bad for it because it was a tarantula. Like one of these black hairy tarantulas, one of the coolest looking things I've ever seen in my life. But, um, I ran it in. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bad because I was scared of the fucking thing killing my daughter. Because <laughs> it was a tarantula. And, like, the story, if I actually remembered at the time, because I'd been hit in the head, I didn't, I actually have, they said it's not dementia, or they've never actually examined my head to see if it's actually straight. Like, they have. Like, they, I went in to get my jaw checked once and they're actually saying that it's actually like even though I don't remember being punched in the jaw but I think I must have been punched in the jaw when I was very young and heal very badly and so my jaw is actually not aligned like, it looks aligned, it feels aligned, but it's slightly, like, smashed. Like, my skull is actually smashed as, as a small skull, and it's grown. And, like, my brain, like, remembers to do stuff usually, like, through my life. But, if, if I, if something happens, um... I forget, and like now it's actually much worse than what it was to start with, and now I've forgotten what I was saying, and then they say that I have this other issue with being schizophrenic as well, and that I have learnt from other people who have had schizophrenia that apparently you can start a conversation about something and go off and start talking about a whole heap of other stuff like that was like a a main thing that they tried to put across that that, that was something that would happen <clears throat> but yeah I, I was talking about spiders yeah so if I actually remembered um the movie like you try and kill the spiders spiders come back and kill you more that sort of thing. It's not not just a movie. It's actually happened when I was very young. Uh, I was sleeping in my house, and this spider came into the house through a vent, and then it crawled down the wall like, and it was going to get my brother, and I had to like army crawl across the floor, wake up my brother like without him moving, like, I had to cover his mouth and be like, don't move. And he woke up to see, like, this gigantic spider, like, right next to him, and he's just, like, staring at it, and I'm just like, we've got to get out of here. And then, so we both army crawl across the floor away from the spider, and then we go and tell our dad, right? And then he comes in, and there's no spider there. And then we're in the shit, right? Because we just woke up our dad, and there's no spider. And we're like, no, there was a spider. And he's like, there is no spider. And all this shit, and we had to go back to bed. And, like, we didn't even know where the spider was. And we had to be, like, brave and go back in our bed. Like, he... Like, he had to go back in his bed with a gigantic spider that was possibly in his bed. So he just had to just go get back in his bed, even though we, we said that there was a spider. Like, this big. As big as this. Right? And we hadn't actually watched the scary movie about spiders by this stage. We just... We just saw a huge spider, and we were only like, like this tall, or something like that. So it, it was scary. Like we we were still bigger than the spider, but the spider was huge. Anyway, so the point is, is that if I remembered the stories about the spiders, 
is that even when I was young, the spider came back. We, we went back to like sleep for a second and then the spider actually came back through the thing and we we're just like running out of our room because it started running down the wall and like we're just running going there's a fucking spider and then he comes in again and there's no spider there again and it was just like we were in so much shit because it kept waking him up and it was a fucking spider <laughs> we had to prove that there was a spider, <laughs> and, he, and the spider. <laughs> Imagine being someone's dad, man, going, "Where's this fucking spider?" <laughs> and just standing there waiting for the spider to come back. <laughs> spider, I don't know what I would do. I'd just be like, "The spider is our friend." <laughs> Like, it's because we like huntsmen or something like that. That's what we came up with later. But yeah, the idea is that if I actually remember the scary movie, is that if you keep chasing the spiders, the spiders come back after you, and, and then everybody dies, like from some sort of torturous nightmare from the spider killing them in their showers, in their toilet, in their shed, and like, doesn't matter what they do, the spiders just keep coming, sort of thing. Scary movies, yeah. But I didn't remember that at that time, I was just like, oh my god, a tarantula, run over it, and oh my god, a jumping jack, run for it, and it was just like, oh my god, we're getting out of the forest now, <laughs> we're in the house, we're fine. <laughs> They won't come into the house. Like, it didn't even occur. Once we were out of the forest of the backyard and in the house, I figured that we were safe. But we actually had to get rid of the debris that everyone had, that we all cr collected. And, like, I I wasn't, I, w I had to be prepared to go and just pull everything out myself. And do it like a call up. I'm like, okay, I need a skip. I need to get rid of a whole heap of um, green waste. And then, like, so I get this green waste skip, and then I go to do it, and then they tell me to go inside because there's going to be more spiders or something like that, and they're terrifying. And I'm obviously terrified of spiders. And so they actually did it all themselves. Like they all just went out the back and put all the green waste in the skip. And we got rid of that. But yeah, we were in trouble for that. We got a fine for it as well because we collected debris in our backyard and it's actually illegal or something. So I had to pay that fine too and for the skip. <clears throat> while renting, so I did all that. <clears throat>